Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where in today's vlog I'm ticking a new ground off the list. Uh, I'm going to watch Chester FC as they take on AFC Fylde at the Diva Stadium. Really, really looking forward to this one. It's my first time watching Chester FC or AFC Fylde for that matter. And also because I'm meeting up with Alex Bullions, uh, who you may remember from my National League North preview video. He is a Chester FC fan, so yeah, really looking forward to meeting up with him and getting him on the vlog. Uh, he's also told me that they're meant to be doing a um, bit of a display before the game. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that as well. Uh, looking uh, to the actual game itself. Um, both teams haven't had the best start to the season, so it should be an interesting matchup. Should be a great day all round. Like I said, really looking forward to it and we'll see you guys when we get down there. Okay, so I'm here with Alex. Um, you? You've come up from Essex, you said, on the train. Yep. So that's some commitment. Do you do that every week to come watch Chester? Not every week, whenever I can. So it's just balancing with work. So sometimes I work on the weekends, but sometimes I won't. And uh, this weekend I'm not, so here we are. Got yeah. season tickets. That, so. that is some commitment, to be fair. To be fair, though. So. That's what we do, mate. That's what we do. Yeah, um, obviously for the game today. Uh, I think, are you down? You're 16th at the moment, and filed, I believe, our 11th. Not, yeah. not the start both teams will have wanted. Obviously, we said. Uh, if people remember from uh, the National League preview, you said obviously Fylde would be one that are up there, but you expect Chester to be sort of in and around the playoffs. Yeah, I still think I still think both of us will be up there. I think um, it's been you can take the start with a pinch of salt because yeah. um, you can't read too much into it. I mean, I've watched I've watched three plays of our game against Peterborough last week, and there were two offside goals that probably weren't offside. One one was contentious, one definitely wasn't offside. Yeah. The, there's other ones. Oh! Uh, uh, um, there's other ones that you know we had. We played Brackley a couple of weeks ago, and there was we won that game. But there was a couple of contentious decisions. We played Alfreton. They had a goal that went in, which is here, you know, it's here or there, whether or not it crossed the line or not. So there's a few decisions that have been very contentious that could have you know, flipped results one way or the other. So it's um, a lot of people will look at our start. They look at. I mean, I don't know about five necessarily. I've not really studied their games per se, but I've, I've you know, in terms of our start, I thought I, you know. On, you know, on paper, results-wise, it doesn't look very good, but I think it's been better than what it says in terms of the table. And from today's game, what are you expecting? Obviously, Fylde, uh, like we said, they're, they're going to be one of the teams that are going to be up there. Do you think you can get the win, though, with it being a home ground and everything? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's kind of similar to Brackley. Like Brackley, like, you know, they're always up in the right end of the table. Um, Fylde will be the same. I still think Fylde, as I say, will think they'll be up there still, but... Um, yeah, I think we can get a good result. We've got a really good home atmosphere. We, the Diva's a bit of a fortress for us. We lost to Harrow video a couple of weeks ago, but that was down really to, to an absolute world. You they scored, you know, it's, the end of, it's, it's one of those where if you can grind it out for 80 minutes and score a goal like that, you'll beat us. But, um, you know, if, we have, if you allow us to play the way that, that we, you know, we know we can, especially at home, then um, we can beat anybody in this league at home. I yeah. firmly believe that. Well, hoping for a Chester win today, seeing as uh, it's my first time down here. Fingers and uh, Hoping for a good atmosphere as I well, think, like I, think you I think you'll enjoy the atmosphere. I think you'll enjoy the food. I think uh, match day experience-wise, we've, exper we've um, improved, that's what I'm going to call it, improved a lot on uh, previous seasons. We've got, like, inflatable things for the kids to enjoy. And we've got, like, uh, like loaded fries that have been on the Footy Scram <laughs> Twitter account. We've got pies. We've got really nice pies. We've got, like... Um, Obviously, this is all stuff off the pitch, but you know it all, it all counts because it gets people down, it gets numbers in the gate, and uh, gets the atmosphere rocking. Right, nice one. Hopefully, uh, we get a good day, and uh, yeah, we'll see you a bit later on. Fingers crossed on the seals.
fucking dickhead! He's sending you for what's kind of fun!
Okay, so we're outside the ground now after the game, which finished uh, Chester FC nil, AFC filed one, and um, just an absolute crazy second half as well. That wasn't it? For, for a game with three red cards, one of the most boring matches of football I've watched ever. Um, yeah, nothing actually happened in no, the game, no, <laughs> apart other, from the actual sending off. It's just. It's done now, so you can't really do anything about it. But it's just, I just, I just find it amazing that you know, and I, it's generally an unbiased point of view. I think, I mean, you, you'll agree with me. You're not a Chester fan, and you've come here and you completely agree with me. I mean, you've not seen all our games this season, but we've had three losses this season, and honestly, none of them I'd put down to the players at all. Like we, we're 21st and 10, we're in the relegation zone, but it doesn't tell the, the story of the season. We're a good side. We've got good players. We've got a good manager. Um, and you've, we, you've we actually, just, we've you've just played been, well today as well. We did all right. We weren't Civil. brilliant. We weren't brilliant, but neither were they. I think it I, honestly it, it resembled every aspect of a nil-nil, except there was three red cards and we got stiffed a little bit. But um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, it's just a shame. It's just a shame that you know these these fans, very very committed group of fans. There's a really good feel feel good factor about the club this season. We travel home and away. We love this club. Um, and then you've got a really good committed group of players who you know want to win for us. They don't just want to play for us; they want to win for us. You know, it's, it's all about football. It's all about wanting to do well. And you get into stuff like that happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, football should never be decided by things out of your control. It should never ever be. It's it's a, it's a sport. It's a competitive sport. And you know, this goes a lot deeper than chess to be filed. Believe me. But honestly, the fact that this has happened three times a season now is and it, once also in a game that we won. So that's four out of five games. Um, it's not right. It, it shouldn't. It shouldn't happen. But we got. We got a game. The good news is we have got a game in two days. Yeah, you can so put we, it right against Curtis. We can shut ourselves up. Yeah. But it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be happening. And I'm. I'm not even trying to because I know <laughs> already what people are going to react to watching this video. They're going to say I'm bitter and stuff. Whatever. I'm annoyed with loss, but honestly, I'm not annoyed at filed for winning. I'm not annoyed at their players. I'm annoyed at the ref and the officials because they look completely lost control of it today, and that's. Simple facts, it's as simple as that. Yeah, even from from a neutral point of view, um, obviously the fans were great today. Sang throughout, brilliant account of themselves. Yep. Um, you was know, that. they they played all right as well, Chester, um, considering the circumstances. But it is just endemic of this level of football, the officiating, and it's something that really needs to be sort of sorted out yeah, sooner in, rather than not, later. Not, not in like eighty percent of our games, we've had poor refereeing decisions go against. Do you know what I mean? I, it, it, now we've been at this level since 2018, we've seen some absolute shockers. Um, we've been non-league since we reformed, obviously. I've never seen anything like this at any level of football on such a consistent basis, the, the, the shocking refereeing again. And it's not even a case of bad refereeing decisions, because far within that bad refereeing decisions going against them today. They had a red card that was deserved for a two-foot challenge. We got a red, the first red card didn't see. Well, I did. I, I, we, there might have been something that happened in the melee. I think he might have thrown the ball actually, which it wasn't clear cut. It wasn't clear cut by any means, but if it was deserved, it was deserved fair play. The second one, goodness gracious me, mate! A, little, a trip on halfway is a tactical foul. As I said to you earlier on, happens a million times on a on a footballing weekend on a Saturday. Do you know what I mean? It's just a simple. There's four blue shirts in front of him. There's three white shirts running with him. He's just been tripped. Tactical foul to, to you know pull back play. It's a yellow card, and he's giving him a straight red, and that's ultimately what's cost us the game today. So. Okay, so back in the car now and uh, just reflecting on uh, what Alex has just said then. Um, the game itself uh, wasn't great in terms of chances apart from the filed goal. Uh, the story really will be about those uh, three red cards. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch them back but the, the filed ones seemed pretty clear cut but the Chester ones I'm not so sure. I will have to watch them back though of, of course but um, it is just sort of endemic of, of this level of football, the officiating. I won't really rabbit on too much about it because it's not really what I want to focus on, the negatives. Um, it was a good day out, great atmosphere from the Chester fans. They sang their heart out throughout, as you'll have seen um, on the clips as well. Um, I'd love to go and visit uh, them again, maybe get to an away game with Chester um, if they'll have me, but guys, um, it's been a weird video in terms of not really a great game, but um, a lot actually happened in terms of drama. Uh, if you have enjoyed it though, do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you never miss an upload, especially if you are a Chester fan or a Filed fan watching this video, um, I'm sorry, watching this channel for the first time, please do hit that subscribe button. It would really, really help. But yeah, thank you once again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.